That's right, people. I am that bored. Dressing Gown Diaries is back. We find ourselves in a bit of a strange situation. The uh, country on lockdown, lockdown life. If I can't find the time to bring back the most wanted YouTube series of all time, Dressing Gown Diaries, then when can I? The fans have been calling out for it for years. What better time? Basically, I've uh, just got to that level of boredom where I'm like, I should probably make a stupid video and put it on the internet that no one's gonna watch. You know, when you're a natural performer, times like this can be very strenuous. I'm another dickhead on the internet and I'm not proud of it. Yeah, it's been a while, hasn't it? I think it's been, I think it's been like a couple of years since I've made one of these. I'm in a different house. Uh, last time I made one of these, I was still at my mum's and I'm now living in a house with my boyfriend. I now have a boyfriend. I'm pretty sure I didn't last time. Maybe I did, can't remember. And also, probably most controversial, one of my uh, most watched Dressing Gun Diaries videos was one I made called uh, Cats vs Dogs. I think about 10 people watched that one. I got a lot of heat for it, and a lot of heat for it, because apparently the controversial opinion of not liking dogs doesn't go down well on the internet. I essentially went on a rant about, you know, my personal issues with dogs. So, come onto my lap, come up here. Can you sit up? Uh, <laughs> here is the biggest, fluffiest change in my life. That's all. We found love in a hopeless place. When I uh, got with Matt, he had a staffy, and um, I'm saying this like the people watching this don't know me. Like, oh, what's Vicky been up to all this time? Like, it's not just Phoebe and my mum watching this. I'm gonna show you what she's doing because it's too cute. Look at this. Look at this. Look at his face. How could I not? Just uh, fall in love and take back everything I ever said about dogs. I'm sorry. Still not a big fan of the whole poo thing. Still don't really like the whole carrying her shit around all the time. And believe me, she shits a lot. I would do anything for love. And apparently I will do that. Lockdown, that's something, isn't it? Obviously this awful coronavirus pandemic. I don't know about you, but starting to go a little bit crazy. I was doing quite well, cause let's be honest, I don't really go out that much anyway. If anything, it's a relief not to have the social pressure of being expected to, to go out and socialise, go to the pub, go to the club, go to the disco, the bingo, the dance hall. Lockdown's making me go a bit mad now. I'm getting a bit bored of it. As much as I enjoy the relief of not having to go out and be sociable, I think I am actually starting to miss it a bit now. I thought I'd make these just so it gave me something to fucking do. I was doing some improv courses before this all happened, which I was loving. And it was really like nice to be like performing regularly, even if it was just in a class or a class show or whatever. And now that's uh, obviously on hold. You know, I'm missing performing. I can't obviously perform right now to uh, an audience. This is the closest I can get without putting in too much effort. This is the point I was really trying to stress to Matt. I want to do these, but I want it to be lo-fi. I'll put dressing our diaries. Is it? It doesn't take ages. It doesn't have to be, you know, scripted clearly you just literally whack the camera on and go matt got me a really lovely um vlogging camera for my birthday back in october which i've still not really used regularly it felt like a good opportunity to actually use that and i was like look to get me for vlogging regularly or just using the camera i'm gonna have to do dressing gown diaries because it's well easy because i just literally throw on a dressing gown and chat shit but matt is a filmmaker i suggested doing dressing gown diaries in before and went down like a ton of bricks. He's like, well, you know, we have to have amazing lighting and you have to know what you're saying. You have to think of some, some quips. He asked me if you could grade on iMovie. Who says that? Who's color grading on iMovie? I don't even really know what that is. I think it's when they make it look a bit gray on Sherlock. <sighs> Battery died again, just when I was slagging off my filmmaker boyfriend, the camera battery died. That is some pretty quick karma right there. So he's all like, you know, got to make it really fancy. I've got a fucking light up. A light, me. Normally I'm doing this at my mum's house, on the sofa, fluffy dressing gown, no makeup, totally chill, ready to rock and roll, little tiny handy cam on the coffee table. Daylight lighting me. Now, I feel like I'm on a Hollywood movie set. <laughs> Ow! 
Ugh, horrendous hay fever this year. Anyone else? So, Dressing Gown Diaries is back, for now. Or at least for as long as my lockdown boredom lasts. So, <laughs> cheers, wash your hands, protect the NHS. Look at this belly! Killing machine.